welcome back to the channel i'm paul you're watching the urban rats and today we're in the town of bolton so you would have seen the emergency services blue lighting it up the road well i've just drove down in my car and somebody had only just been run over so they would have been going up there to attend to the man who was still on the floor we're at trinity retail park it's got an arnold clark's it's got a burger king it's got another place called ninja outlets let's go and take a further look round and see if we can find somewhere to camp tonight right we'll carry on walking round now and see what else we can see on the way down to pitching our tent so he's looking down and you can see on the left hand side it's got like a strip of green stuff between the retail park and the a triple six so we're gonna go down and see if there's anywhere we can pitch the tent and here's the forecourt at arnold clark you can see we've got some electric charging points for your cars here but we're gonna carry on walking further down come on so here we have one of the hgv and he's called wee man so maybe from scotland and this is the trailer to transport the cars on come on let's just get up through here and there's one of the signs for the a triple six and that was your 360 well i think this is our flatty spot so let's get pauline on the floor might be a bit noisy at the minute but let's take off the rucksack i'm gonna set the tent up and bring you lot back right so tonight we're in the oex bobcat one let's get everything set up inside right so we'll start by putting the mat inside anyway as usual what i've done i've put the uh, chinese foil down i've got pauline lay on the floor so we don't get the mat punctured and then uh, anyway let's set up the mat so we're using the flex tail pump oh it's going up Whoa, we're there! So we're back on the OEX Phantom 400. It's quite cold out here tonight. Let's get it unclipped. Staying with the OEX, we're on the Traverse Pillar. Right, we'll keep all the bags together, and then we're not messing about first thing in the morning. That's all set up keep that zips up now and we can open a beer oh i've got my rambo on it see if we can put it up here and block out some of this traffic got myself some wine here i think i'll tie it off to this tree and tie it off there and hang the rambo net in between it all What I can do now is feed my line through the netting and tie it off somewhere else. So there's the Rambo net walking out the road. Now we can set up the Trekology chair and open ourselves a beer. Here 
think after all that mess in setting up the tent and the chair, it's time for a beer. So we're going to take a walk out of camp now and see what we can see on our way round. Well, I don't know what it's like for traffic noise because it's proper busy round here, you know, tonight. Right, so this place is called Jump Extreme and that's fun place. And anyway, I've never been in there, but it looks a bit of fun if you're one of the young ones and you want to jump around. And then next door is called Office Outlet. The one on the end was the Curry's, but now it's called Ninja. And Graham said to me, the cameraman, be careful not to get an injury when you're out there. So I've been contacted of Charlie Wally, and they've asked me to give Jonathan Healy a shout. So, hello, Jonathan Healy from the Urban Rats. Right, so I've been having a few phone problems anyway this week. So I've been on my laptop. And the YouTube Studio on the laptop is a bit different than on the phone that I use. So anyway, we're looking. So guys, at the Stealth Camping Alliance. Well, can I just give a shout out? It's camping like a barn. You're right there, our right, kid. Yeah, and we've got Amit Mountain. Yes, Amit Mountain. Uh, who else have we got here? That's him with the daft, yeah. Oh, aye, you know who you are. Who else have we got here? Camping in plain sight. Hey, that was a fantastic little video you did, by the way. And shouting all the Stealth Camping Alliance out in your video. I thought it was pretty cool myself. Can I give Bipolar Cornbread a shout out? And his missus. Are you alright over there? And also... Uh, the rough neck redneck yes redneck from the urban rats yeah you can see all round it's quite it's quite quiet in the car park tonight i'm not sure what cameras are watching us i know on the other side near rhino clark they've got a lot of cameras but it seems this end is still like back from the 1990s come on come on yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on, let's go and cut some of it to eat. Bloody crackers, you lot. Right, we're going to cook up some bacon muffins with brown sauce put the bacon in a food bag and brought it with me let's set fire to the cooker So I went to Tesco today, got myself some decent muffins, pre-buttered and cut them at home. Just put my bacon on now, bit of the old brown sauce. We're happy days. This is where it's at, guys. <laughs> oh.
Right, so it's time for Urban Rat to be signing off. I'll see you lot in the morning. Right, guys. Well, good morning. It's six o'clock. <sighs> Flipping early. And all the traffic's already started and it's getting busy out here. So I can hear all the birds chirping away as well. So we'll get up and put the kettle on and get ourselves a brew this morning. So let's have a look outside and see what we've got this morning. God. Well, my boots are nice and dry. Freezing cold, everything's proper cold out here, look. Woo! Left me chair out last night. Which I don't normally do, and it's all it's all froze. Look, yeah, got frost all over the tent this morning. So let's get the boots on. Boots on the ground. Yes, yeah, so where's the tent? Look. Here's the A triple six this morning. Everything's flying. We'll get the kettle on and get ourselves a brew. Right, well the kettle's on now, we'll pull down the tent and start packing up the camp before people start coming to work. My hands are already freezing cold. What? It's proper chilly this morning. Start by getting away the sleeping bag. I'm going faster, hoping I'll warm up. <laughs> so, not yesterday, the day before, it was like a, a summer's day. I went for a walk in the woods and down the canal, and I seen loads of people out fishing, walking, and uh, enjoying themselves in the sunshine because winter up north in Manchester gets grim and that's the pillar down so here we've got the steaming kettle let's get a brew powder
go. Right, well, the tent didn't go back in that little crappy bag that the Chinese give you. So I've just rammed it in the rucksack and I'll take it out as soon as I get home. It's full of ice. All I need to do now is drink my brew, put away the Trekology chair, and we can get ourselves out of town. I knew it would cool last night when I was out and about, but I didn't expect this morning that everything was just gonna get like frozen over again, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna get packed down, I'll bring you guys back. Beers can go on the bag and I'll put them in my bin when I get home. Woo! So this is where we parked the tent last night and as you can see we've left no trace. So we stayed in the edge in between the 8666 and the industrial estate here at Bolton and anyway it was an interesting night we had some beers got ourselves a bacon muffin with brown sauce on there oh yeah eh? had a bit of a rock and roll night had the flashing lights on for you guys I know you like them so this is the way we come in last night and we'll make our way back out the same way. Come on. You can see on top of these cars how cold it was last night. Look, the absolute frozen. Oh, what a bloody night, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's the end of the camp at Bolton. So until next time, stay safe, stay stealthy, and I'll see you on the next Urban Rats adventure.